Measure C-22 is a $349 million school improvement measure that will be on the November 8th ballot for those who live in the San Luis Coastal School District. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz spoke with the volunteer co-chairs leading the campaign on the measure. A group of citizens have formed a campaign committee urging voters to approve Measure C this November. I spoke with the group's co-chairs on what this measure will mean for the schools if approved. I really joined the team of volunteers that are supporting Yes on Measure C because I care so much about the environment that my kids are learning in. Ten elementary schools, two middle schools, and Pacific Beach High School in the San Luis Coastal Unified School District will receive facility and security upgrades. The co-chairs of the initiative say many of the schools in the district were built in the 1950s and 60s and have not undergone modernization since then. If approved, Measure C would go toward fixing leaky roofs, increasing campus security, modernizing classroom technologies, and installing heat and AC systems. So the school needs a lot of work. On that list is Los Osos Middle School, built in 1976. One of the first improvements would be the roof. Bloom says every year there are water leaks inside classrooms. Also a need for HVAC, um, air conditioning and heating. We have a system that's very old that needs work. And um, as you know, recently we've had some heat waves and some of our classrooms will hit 87 degrees. If Measure C is not approved, these repairs will be delayed. Uh, there are no funds available in the budget. There are no funds available from the state for these types of improvements. Measure C is a 30-year property tax bond measure. Measure C will be paid for via a property tax assessment of $49 per $100,000 of assessed value. The co-chairs of the measure say the typical homeowner in the district based on current property tax assessments would pay $250 annually or about $20 a month. Measure D was voted in back in 2014, so we're eight years in to that 30-year measure and these funds will be assessed in addition to the funds assessed back in 2014. Funds will also be used to expand pre-K and TK offerings in all of the elementary schools in the district. Now, Laguna Middle School is one of the two middle schools on that list set to receive improvements if the measure is approved. This school is constructed back in 1968. In San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. Register voters in the school district, which serves Avila Beach, Morro Bay, Los Osos, San Luis Obispo, and Shell Beach, will be able to vote on the measure. It requires 55% approval from voters.